hey guys welcome back so today's video i am going to be doing a book review on branded um and i absolutely love this book so yeah i'm excited to do this review but anyway it's on branded by missy uh, abby kettner and missy kalikiki um, I'm probably butchering that. Sorry. Um, but yeah, I loved this book. Um, I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars. One of my new favorites. Um, it does have its flaws, like every book has its flaws. But despite that, I still really loved this book. I really enjoyed it. Um, it's got a lot of action in this book, and pretty much I am definitely an action type of girl, so get me any book with tons of action in it, I'll probably love it, um, which is why I love the Mortal Instruments, uh, series, so much action and so much stuff goes on in there, just like this book, and I just loved it. So, anyway, I am going to be doing two parts um, to this review. I'm going to be doing a non-spoiler review, which is what I'm going to get into now. And then I will be doing a spoiler review um, because I just have so much thoughts about this book that I really need to talk about and get them out. And so I will be doing a spoiler review after this. Um, but yeah, let's get into the non-spoilery part. So basically, I'll try to sum up the best I can this book. I'm not good at summaries, you guys. Um, but basically, it's a dystopian book. And in this world, um, there are seven deadly sins. And if you commit one of those sins, if you're accused of one of those sins, you get sent to this place called the hole, which is like um, a prison, basically, for everyone who um, is branded and accused of a sin. And pretty much the hole is like sort of like prison, but way worse. Um, there's a whole bunch of violence that goes on, um, in the whole, there's, um, there's people being murdered, there's rapes, there's so much violence that goes on in the whole. Um, and so, Lexi, our main character of the book, she gets accused of lust. And she gets branded, which you can see the brand on her neck, the blue brand. She gets um, branded and set to the hole to basically live out the rest of her days. Um, and so I'll just really quickly let you guys know what the different um, sins are and the colors for each sin. As each sin um, is branded with a different color. So lust is blue. So Lexi is the blue uh, brand. And then, let's see. Gluttony is orange. Greed is yellow. Which you would think greed is would be green. At least that's what I would have thought. But anyway. Sloth is black. Wrath is red, Envy is green, and Pride is purple. And so, those are basically the seven cents. Um, if you're accused of one, you get branded and sent into the hole. And that's all I can really say without giving away too much of this book. Um, but this book, I will say was so good it sucked me in from like the very first sentence of the book which i'll redo the first sentence because okay so it says 
I'm buried six feet under and no one hears my screams. And so you read that and you're like, what? What the heck is going on? Why is she buried six feet under, six feet under? What, the ground? A bit, like, what is going on? Who buried her? Why is she there? And so you automatically get sucked in with all these questions. You keep reading and you keep reading. And after everything that goes on in the first chapter, there's so much action and stuff that goes on, even from right from the first chapter. And you're just like, okay, I need to find out more. I need to know what's going on in this world. Why are things this way? And yeah. So pretty much it gets you into the book right away. I really like that. Um, and it's very fast paced, which I liked. Um, the characters in here were amazing. I really liked Lexi and learning more about her backstory. Though at times I did think, I was like, Lexi felt kind of naive to me at times. Um, but I, I still did enjoy her character. And she did grow a lot, um, so I do like her, and I liked her relationship with um, Alyssa and Sutton. You know, Sutton's kind of like a father figure for Lexi, and so I really liked him. Um, Cole is the main love interest in this book, and I had mixed feelings about Cole. Cole, I didn't like at first in the beginning. He just, he was a jerk. He was really a jerk in the beginning. And I kind of understand why. I understand why he acted the way he acted, but it still felt over the top and unnecessary to me. Um, so I just thought he was a real jerk in the beginning. But then as the story progressed and um, kept moving, there were times, there were parts that I was like, okay, you know, he's not such a bad guy, I guess. He's, he's okay. And then, but then there were parts, so there were parts with Lexi and Cole in the relationship that I found really cute and sweet and funny. But then there were times where I was like, okay, he's way too controlling and clingy. And at times it felt like he's one of those characters where like, at, once he starts dating someone, he's like, has to be attached to them 24-7. Like, it kind of felt like he was one of those characters where, like, if you try to split him and Lexi up, he'll just not be able to cope or do anything. Just totally malfunction. Um, so, yeah. And then towards the end, there were some things that Cole said that really made me not trust him. I'm not really going to say what exactly those things are um because i don't want to spoil you guys i will save that part for the spoiler discussion um i'll talk more about my thoughts of why i really don't trust them um but yeah at the end of this it just he gave me the feeling like he might end up betraying lexi in the end, which I hope he doesn't, but I, I just sort of got that feeling. Um, but like I said, I'll explain more in the spoiler part. Um, so what else? Let's see. The world building was really great. Um, I really loved finding out about the world and how it works and everything that goes on in the whole. Um... I will say that the authors are definitely 
not afraid to get detailed and descriptive when it comes to the violence in this book. Um, the violence in this book is very graphic. Um, so if you're reading the book, just be warned. Yeah, the violence is pretty graphic in here. Um, but overall, I really enjoyed this book. It was a really quick, fast-paced read, and I just, I really enjoyed every minute of it. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all I'm going to say for the non-spoiler section of the book, or of the review. Um, I will be doing a part two with the spoiler section. So, if you have read the book, definitely check out um, the part two video, because I really want to talk about it, and see what did you guys think, if you guys thought um, some of the same things I did, or different, or whatnot. Um, so I definitely want to hear what you guys thought, and so check out part two if you have read this book. If you have not read it, definitely pick it up, give it a try. Um, I've heard mixed reviews about this book. Um, I've heard a lot of hype about it as well. Um, but I have heard some people say, you know, it's not as great as it's hyped up to be. Um, I really enjoyed it. Um, I ended up loving it. So I would just say, give it a shot, give it a chance. You never know, you might like it. So yeah, that's all I have to say for this review. And I will see you guys next time um, with the spoiler section. So bye.